Congratulations, you're about to start grad school. Now, here are three books I think every grad student should read before they start their PhD program. Hey there, my name is Dr. Gertrude Nontra and on this channel I talk about succeeding through graduate school as well as navigating the career market after the fact. The first book I'm going to talk about is Grit by Angela Duckworth. I love this book thoroughly. Angela Duckworth is a psychology professor at the University of Pennsylvania and she's done a lot of work around grit or really in layman's terms what is determination to go through especially difficult situations. Now as you're about to start your PhD it is a difficult situation believe it or not but Angela she gives you a lot of research backed data and, and, and stories that really demonstrate that most of the time the people that succeed in a particular venture are not necessarily the most talented or the most gifted but the people with the most grit and so if you want to learn all about that and really you're going to need that if you're going to go through grad school i'd say that read that book before you start the second book i'm going to recommend is Atomic Habits by James Clear. I learned about James Clear a really long time ago and um, he has been writing about habits and the science of habits for a really, really long time. Now this book really talks about building habits and building lifelong habits. So a habit is anything that you do um, involuntarily, nobody tells you to like, for instance, nobody tells you to brush your teeth. Nobody may tell you, you know, tell you how to put on your clothes and so on and so forth, because these are habits, they're automatic habits. So how are you able to turn something that you want to do into a habit? James Clare really goes through the book and it's also really research based, I would say, and, and gives you research based methods for building habits. One of the things I really, one of the, the chapters I really enjoyed in the book was this chapter where he talked about, you know, his writing habits and I'm a writer. So that was especially intriguing to me, but his writing habit. And he talked about the fact that in order to, to do his writing every day, he would leave everything, anything that would be distracting outside of his writing room. He would actually pick himself up, go to the place where he writes every day. So he's not like lounging in his bed or in his couch writing. He's actually setting the intention to set up all these, you know, the, these, these, uh, checklists, I guess, or, or, or activities that set him up for success as he writes. So atomic habits, I think is going to be such a valuable book to you because in grad school you're going to need to build a lot of success habits that help you succeed in grad school some of those habits may be reading papers um, actually writing um, documents you're gonna be writing your own papers hopefully you're going to write protocols you're going to write grants so getting into that habit is really really important and James Clear's book on atomic habits highly recommend if you are learning how to build new habits. So talking about books, I love to consume my books on an app called Scribe. Scribe gives you access to thousands of eBooks, audiobooks, magazines, and podcasts, and you can use it for as low as $8.99 per month. Now, if you sign up for Scribe using my link, my special link in the description or first comment below, you're gonna get 60 days free of Scribe and you'll be able to listen to as many audiobooks, including the ones I mentioned here, uh, as well as read any ebook that you please on the Scribe platform. I highly recommend it. Check it out, use that link that I'm gonna put in the description. Book number three is How to Win Friends and Influence People. Now, a really, really important part of your PhD education, which is very little emphasized, I would say, it's not emphasized as much as I'd like it to be, is networking. Okay, so for most PhDs, we tend to think that because we've gone from college to, you know, we've gone from high school to college into grad school, that the next automatic step is getting a job. But the reality, <laughs> the reality is that once you finish your PhD, you will have to go through quite a rigorous process of applying for jobs. And I find that this rigorous process is, is made less rigorous 
when you have built a network okay whether that network is within the academic sphere or it's within the industry sphere you're going to have to build relationships these relationships are what will help you get in the door at many many places I spoke with an HR um, person once at um, UC San Diego where I used to work and one of the things that she told me, she was like, we never hire any professor just based on application. We hire them based on word of mouth or referrals. And I was like, wow, that's really enlightening. And I didn't just hear this from her. I heard this of another big biotech company where they would mostly hire people based on referrals. So again, if you don't have these relationships built, nobody's referring you. So How to Win Friends and Influence People is such a really good book on learning how to win friends and influence people and not just influence them, not influence them in a negative way, but influence them in such a way that you build these meaningful networks that will end up end up paying off um, in the end, especially when it comes to the job market.